Some members of Ijegu, Ijegemo, and Ijedude communities chanting the solidarity song. This is enough to say that all is not well in this part of Ojo and Alimosho local council development areas. The worry started in January 2020 when the state government announced plans to construct the 19.39 kilometer road meant to ease their troubles. Afterwards, some representatives of a government agency, which they say they could not identify at that time, visited the area and marked hundreds of their structures, indicating that they are due for demolition to allow for the road construction. The main road itself passed through Ijedodo, and if you come down here, you will see this red signal sign shows the main and major roads. They claim that the route which the government now intends to construct the road is the pipeline path, which is the reason more houses need to be let go to give way. On the other hand, they say that the red line on the plan, which indicates the original location for the road, is behind, and it's common knowledge in the area that this is the original path for the road. 1995, when I came to buy land here, um, I wanted land on this side. He told me no. That the, uh, the federal government have marked this place. Uh, to, they will construct road on this line. Channel's television was attempted to access the original plan with the Ministry of Physical Planning, but the commissioner has not responded. No, and every other person knows that I have. We've been doing that. Honorable Victor um, Akonde is the lawmaker yeah, representing Ojo now Constituency 1 in the State House of Assembly. Weighing the pros and cons of demolishing the affected structures for the construction of the road has been a pending discussion for him. Where they were talking about the old plan yeah. is going to cost the state huge sum of money. But what I now said is if you knew that this thing is affecting your building, and you have document to show to government. Bring the document forward. They will look into it. Where conversation needs to be done, will be done. So the fear of the residents of Ijedodo and other affected communities may actually be the issue of adequate compensation, since they would also benefit from the proposed road in the area. In John Mekwa, Channel Television News.